to look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect before you play back button check. Button check. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Button Check. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Now, just to go off uh, something that you might already be noticing, the energy levels and the, and the vibe of this episode is completely different because for one, I wasn't planning on posting right now. I already have another whole episode ready to go that I was gonna post, but because something just happened and I know the party involved and it's really huge, I decided to go with this one first. So with that episode that I just mentioned, I'll probably post it today, later on today. Um, it might even be in the box after this one's done, I'm not sure yet. So with this one, because it was unexpected and I didn't have that much time, but it's so big that we gotta talk about it, the show's a little different today. We're gonna skip past the hot clips and stuff like that, uh, some of the breaks that we usually have. We're just gonna go straight to the topic, just, just straight to it. Okay, so this one starts right here with Twitch, and technically it didn't start here, but this is definitely where it blew up, and now it's viral. It's like trending number six right now, which is crazy. Okay, so we'll start right here, and then we'll backtrack. So Twitch posted this saying, we've made the decision to remove the PogChamp emote following the statements from the face of the emote encouraging further violence after what took place at the Capitol today. We want the sentiment and use of Pog to live on. Its meaning is much bigger than the person depicted in the image itself, and has a big place in the Twitch culture. However, we can't in good conscience continue to enable the use of the image. We will work with the community to design a new emote for the most hype moments on Twitch. Okay, so this is where it gets a whole lot deeper because a lot of you are thinking, okay, wait, PogChamps and the whole emote, right? That's Gutex, right? For those of you that don't know, I mean, if you watch this channel, you probably know because a lot of people don't know who the hell Gutex is. But like I said, if you watch this channel, you have to see, you know who the hell Gutex is. All right, and I hate mixing politics with FGC, but this is where FGC meets politics. And I'm not gonna take sides and all that about Trump or Biden or any shit like that. I'm simply gonna tell you what happened. So earlier today, or by the time you watch this tomorrow, there was a huge protest right at the Capitol, right? Where Trump supporters kind of stormed in. Uh, there was a woman, unfortunately, she was shot by security. I mean, it was a huge thing. You probably know about it because it was everywhere. Okay, so from there, Gutex, AKA the PogChat emote, right in question from Twitch and all that, he posted on that incident right here saying, will there be civil unrest for the woman who was executed inside the Capitol today or will the Magna Martyr die in vain? Then he goes on to talk about the video, like there was actual video footage of it, but it was deleted apparently on another site. Well then later, um, I guess he got the footage and then he posted it saying, warning, this is graphic, but it's important for everyone to see in the video because we don't know how it will try to be spun or suppressed. She gave her life for our country, rest in peace, Magna Martyr. Now, of course, I'm not gonna show the video or anything like that, but from there, the FGC held Twitter, it was bigger. This is huge, this is way bigger than the FGC because everybody, including Twitch, reacted. This is way bigger than the FGC. You know how big that emote is, that PogChamp, you know, there's so many people that use it in other scenes that have no idea that comes from the FGC. So anyway, everybody, I mean from Ultra David saying, I ban Gutex, I block Gutex, you should block him too. Everybody's like, yes, I'm blocking him, I'm banning him, uh, calling him, you know, cussing him out basically, calling him no good, piece of shit. Should have Some people saying this should have been done a long time ago. Other people shooting their shot like, yo, can I be the next Pog champ, you know, sending in their pictures or voting for other pictures. And people are like, yo, what the fuck? Did this just turn into like America's next top Pog champ idol or some shit? Even Justin Wong spoke on it like, chill, y'all. Stop trying to shoot your shot right now. This might not be the best time to shoot the damn shot. And I'll continue to put the tweets on the screen here because, I mean, Imagine like from the FGC's point of view, I think a lot of other people can cut ties really easy, but from the FGC, you have a lot of mixed uh, reviews or emotions, right? Because you got some people that are just straight up going in and like, you know, fuck you, basically. We can't believe you would say something like this or post something like this. And then you got others um, that have history. Like if you think about it, man, Mike Ross and Gutex, they've meant so much to us, right? If they're like some of the godfathers of the FGC, excellent adventures I came up on. How much, how many of us came up on excellent adventures? Real talk, I know Gutex, man. Like I, I, you've seen if you were watching this channel last year, we had him on the show 
really great guy. He's given me advice when I started coming up with this channel. Personally, on a personal level, he's been nothing but kind to me. So you take it from the point of view of us, right? Everybody that has some type of emotional bond or connection with the person involved, you can't help feel like some type of way. You can't help be like, fuck, what the hell's going on? And you got others considering this cancel culture and they're like, yo, we don't think it's fair that y'all are going in on him. And you got others saying, no, it's not cancel culture. We're just basically going off what he said. So with all that being said, obviously I disagree with what he said and how he said it. Now, what unfolds from there, I have no idea. I haven't got to talk to him recently. I haven't talked to him since that interview, so I'm not sure where his mindset is at as of recent or even why he would say something like that. A lot of it kind of revealed a lot, but you know, it's, it's basically catching a lot of people by surprise. All I can say in real talk, this is me just being 100. I'm sad that this is happening, because fuck, man, we are, we are what, six days? We're a fucking six days into the new year and we already have shit like this. So there it is, ladies and gents. That is what is going on with the whole PogChamp, Twitter, banning, Gutex, making the statement. That's where it's coming, how the FG is, FGC is feeling right about now. How are y'all feeling, man? So thank you once again for watching the other episode. Completely different topic. We'll try to release in a few hours, if not back to back to this one. Thank you guys for all the love. We'll see you soon. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. Oh,